Hello, my name is Tom O'Brien. I'm the Director of Athletics for the Haverhill Public Schools. We've put together this presentation to help student athletes and families prepare for the upcoming season. We'll briefly cover a wide range of topics, including participation requirements, expectations, policies, and much more. We will also provide you with the resources to find any additional information that you may need. As part of the registration process, student athletes and parents will sign off that you have viewed this presentation in its entirety. Thank you for taking the time to review all this information, and we look forward to having you as part of the Hilly family. Participation requirements. All of these items must be submitted before a student athlete is permitted to start practicing with a team. Participation form. A Northeast Rehab Medical History form. A physical valid for 13 months, which I'll review in further detail on the next slide. Impact testing where required. Impact testing is a cognitive online test conducted by our athletic trainers. This helps them to assess and manage concussions and other head injuries should they occur during the season. All of these items can be completed through our online registration system. There are also links to both the online registration system and copies that can be downloaded. And hard copies can also be picked up in the athletic department office. Physical requirements. Physicals are valid for 13 months. Valid physicals must be submitted to the athletic department office again before a student athlete is per permitted to participate. Any student who has an expired or invalid physical will not be permitted to participate under any circumstances. It's important to note that this could occur during the season. For example, if you had a physical on April 1st, it's valid until May 1st of the following year. Come May 2nd, if we don't have a valid physical submitted, that student will become immediately ineligible. It's important to submit copies of the valid physicals to the athletic department office as we do not share the records with the nurse's office. The Haverhill Parent Student Athlete Guide is a document that contains athletic department rules and regulations. This should be reviewed as part of the registration process. First, tryouts, team selection, and playing time. These can be difficult decisions for coaches to make. Just know that they are always making those decisions and what's in the best interest of the team as a whole. Behavior. We have very high expectations for our student athletes at Haverhill High School. You are the face of the school district at all times. No matter where you are, whether it's during the school day, outside the school day, on the field, on the bus, just out in our community, we expect you to act in a respectful manner at all times and represent the school district in a positive manner at all times. We will not tolerate any inappropriate behavior. This includes chemical health violations, which we will review later, fighting, disrespectful behavior, or any violation of the student handbook or team rules that are put in place. There will be consequences for inappropriate behavior. First, the MIA has rules regarding suspension. If you are on in-school or out-of-school suspension, you have to miss an equal number of days of sports to what you are suspended for. The athletic department also reserves the right to issue further consequences, which could be suspension from the team or even removal of the team if it's warranted. It's a privilege to participate in sports, and we do hold student athletes to a higher standard. Commitment to the team. We expect you to make that commitment and make sacrifices from the start of practice to the very last game. This can be difficult for families and may have to give up family vacations or, or other reasons for students to be missing games, practices, but we do expect that commitment to the team and we can assure you it will be a rewarding experience for everyone. April is part of the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association, or the MIAA. We must adhere to all MIAA rules and regulations at all times. The MIA handbook is about 125 pages long, so we'll just review some key MIA rules here. First, student eligibility and academic requirements. Students must receive a passing grade in four subjects at the end of each marking period. Eligibility is certified on the day report cards are issued, and students must earn four full credits at the end of the school year to be eligible to participate in the fall season the following year. Academically ineligible students will be permitted to practice with teams at the discretion of the coach, but may not participate in any competition. 
Chemical health, alcohol, drugs, tobacco. As mentioned earlier, we have high expectations for our student athletes and will not tolerate any violation of this policy. The policy reads from the earliest fall practice date to the conclusion of the academic year or final athletic event, a student athlete shall not, regardless of the quantity, use, consume, possess, buy, sell, or give away any beverage containing alcohol, any tobacco product, and this includes e-cigarettes, vape pens, and all similar devices, marijuana, including synthetic, steroids, drug paraphernalia, or any controlled substance. This policy also includes NA or near beer inhalants and misuse of over-the-counter medications and substances used for the purpose of altering one's mental state. The first violation of this, you lose 25% of the eligibility this season right away. If you have a 20 game season, you're suspended for the next five games right off the bat. If this does occur, you will continue to, or can continue to practice with the team, but again, cannot participate in any contest. If there's a second violation, you lose 60% of the eligibility right away. A third violation, you most likely will not be playing sports at Haverhill High School ever again. Hazing, bullying, also something that will absolutely not be tolerated. We tell our student athletes, if you even remotely think it might be considered hazing or bullying, it most likely will be. Anything that adversely affects another student's physical or mental health will be considered hazing or bullying. Students found to be conducting hazing or bullying will be immediately removed from teams and could be subject to further disciplinary action. Each, each of our coaches of our teams will review this policy in depth with our student athletes before the start of their seasons. Additional policies. First, attendance tardiness. Students must arrive by 8 a.m. in order to be eligible to participate that afternoon or evening in sports. Students are also ineligible if they're dismissed due to illness. In other words, if you're not well enough to be in school, then you're not well enough to be able to participate in sports on that day. Athletic facilities. We are fortunate to have some of the best facilities of any high school in all of New England. We have recently completed millions of dollars in renovations. This includes a brand new multi-purpose turf field with state-of-the-art softball facility right here at the high school as well as a brand new track and field facility here at the high school. We've done improvements to our pool building, including our fitness center, and we've done millions of dollars in improvements at historic Haverhill Stadium. We ask our student athletes to take pride in those facilities, pick up after yourselves, keep them as nice as they are now, and they'll be a benefit to us for years to come. Same goes for equipment. We ask our student athletes to take great, great pride and care in any equipment or uniforms issued to you. You're responsible for returning several uniforms and pieces of equipment at the end of each season and will be responsible for replacement costs if they are not returned. Out of season, there are certain rules and regulations on what coaches can and can't do outside of the regular season. Uh, anything they do has to be voluntary. So we do encourage them to keep student athletes involved, whether they be voluntary workouts, community service activities, or anything of the like. However, they are, are voluntary. And if student athletes are feeling undue pressure to participate in those activities, the athletic department should be notified. But we do encourage athletes to take part in those activities as they can help you prepare for the upcoming seasons and, and also help to reduce injuries. Fundraising, also something that is not mandatory. Several of our sports teams do have booster clubs or other fundraising entities. However, they cannot require student athletes to participate in fundraising activities. Again, we do encourage it if you can. It does help your programs, but we are fortunate to have all the resources necessary to provide equipment, travel, any expenses associated with participating in a sports team. So the Fundraising activities are not required. Again, similar to out-of-season activities, if students are feeling any undue pressure to participate, please notify the athletic department. We are very fortunate here at Haverhill to have basically two full-time licensed athletic trainers 
to take care of our student athletes. All injuries must re be reported to the coach and or the trainer. If a student sees a position, you must provide written clearance in order to return to play. And we ask that all athletes respect all the training room rules and regulations. The Haverhill Athletic Department and our sports medicine staff take concussions very seriously. In Haverhill, we go above and beyond what's required in the interest of our student athlete safety. There's legis legislation in place that requires athletes and their parents inform their coaches about prior head injuries at the beginning of the season. In Haverhill, all coaches will complete a sports head injury and concussion awareness course. We have a specific protocol for return to play after a student suffers a concussion. That protocol can be found on our website. We also conduct impact testing. This is required for certain sports. It's basically a cognitive test that a student athlete takes at the prior to the season to give the uh, athletic trainers a baseline. It is an, it's an added tool that the trainers use to ensure that student athletes are not returning too soon and can return to play safely. The CDC website is a great resource for concussion information. You can visit cdc.gov slash heads up for more information. There is even an online course for parents and student athletes regarding concussions that we recommend you take. The Haverhill Athletics website, haverhillhillies.com, can be a great resource for all hilly sports information. On the front page, you'll find links to all the pertinent information. Under the sports tab, there's a list of all the sports that we offer. The registra registration tab will take you directly to the online registration system. Participation requirements tab has links to all the required information needed to participate in sports at Haverhill High School. The athletic department tab has contact information on the athletic department staff as well as the coaching staff. Under the athletic trainer injury info tab, you'll find links to insurance information, concussion testing information, return to play, and various other sports medicine related items. Our HHS facilities tab has a uh, had link, links to descriptions of each of our facilities and their locations and Haverhill Stadium is a direct link to information on Haverhill Stadium and rental procedures there. We will also post during the year important news information um, on the front page of the website and there's links to scores as well as upcoming events and games. If you click on the registration tab on HaverhillHillies.com or go directly to this website, this is our online registration system. So if you go to this page, click on registration, it'll walk you through the whole registration process. It's important to note you should only register once. When you go back to register again for a second sport or the following year, please just log back in as a returning user. If you do forget your password when trying to log back in, please contact the athletic department to, to reset the password. Please do not set up duplicate, duplicate accounts. The Art School Today scheduling page is the official site for our sports schedules. There are links to this site directly from HaverhillHillies.com or you can visit MerrimackValleyConference.org to find our schedule as well as opponent schedules in our league. The site is very simple to use. It shows the, the day's games on the front page, you can also view schedules by team, by date, by level, and various other options. We also post our updated rosters on this website, as well as updated scores and standings. It is important to sign up for alerts on this page. You can enter your email address and you will receive alerts whenever there is a schedule change. That concludes our presentation. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this and hopefully you've gained some valuable information on participation in sports at Haverhill High School. Again, our website is haverhillhillies.com. My contact information as well as other athletic department staff contact information can be found on that site. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns at any time. We look forward to having you either join or continue on with our Hilly family. Go Hillies!